Hi. So, talking to you from Kauai, Hawaii. I've been here for the last few days with my family and our friends, Chelsea and Van. We've been relaxing. It's a family vacation. It's also um, my husband's and my 10th anniversary in the next couple of days and my husband's birthday. So a lot of reasons to come visit. It's our first time here. It's amazing. My favorite place, one of my favorite places on the planet. It didn't take very long for me to feel that way. Only a few, only took me maybe six hours to feel that way. And uh, every single day has pretty much confirmed that this is one of the most beautiful places on the planet. Expensive and probably impossible to live here unless you're a bazillionaire or know how to live off the land, fish for yourself, live in the trees, which I'm considering. One of the first days we visited Queen's Bath and swam in the tide pools and explored, looked around, found some hermit crabs and some regular crabs and sea anemones, which I think they were sea anemones, maybe sea urchins, I'm not really you know, knowledgeable about these things, but kind of spiky looking things in the water. What's your pony's name? This is Hula Girl. Hula Girl. Pretty. <laughs> Do you think she's naturally blonde though? Is anyone? <laughs> we went horseback riding in the middle of the old volcano where all of the ground is this gray ash. Everywhere else around here is red dirt, but um, we went horseback riding in the middle of what used to be a volcano. I guess it's still a volcano. Halfway through the trail ride, we stopped and had some lunch, went swimming by a waterfall. We took a zodiac raft tour along the Nepali coast and visited the sea caves, jumped off the raft into this perfectly warm, clear, blue-green water, went swimming for a while, then got back in the raft, went down a little further, stopped, ate lunch on the raft, then jumped off again and went snorkeling, saw a bunch of really beautiful fish and um, coral reef. We saw sea turtles and dolphins. I really wish I had brought my GoPro, that would have been smart, but for some reason I decided not to. I even actually thought to myself, maybe I should bring my GoPro. Nah, I've got my iPhone, except I didn't think that I would be underwater most of the trip, which I have been. On the way back, it started to rain a little bit, and so the water was really choppy. And the rafts were fun because they're a lot more like a roller coaster, but the ride back was pretty rough. And when it was raining, it was just like blasting us. And we, I was sitting in the back, so I just had tons of salt water getting in my eyes and my mouth. And it was kind of cold and rough, but it kind of fun at the same time. Definitely an adventure. One of the better experiences that I've ever had taking that raft tour. Definitely recommend it. And then since then, oh, I've been eating lots of pokey, which is, um, I mean, you can get different you can get it different ways but I've been eating the ahi tuna and sesame seeds there's some avocado in the ones I had today onion it's really really good so lots of sun you can see that I'm kind of pink I've been wearing a lot of sunscreen but you know swimming and sweating haven't been completely shielded so I'm a bit sore my butt sore from horseback riding and from the bumpy raft tour. Skin sore. Oh, and I got this, okay, of course, right before I left, I, you know, tanned, I got little outfits for the vacation and everything. And then of course, right before leaving, I was traipsing around Texas wilderness and I think I got chiggers. I, I thought it was poison ivy at first, but it looks a lot like bug bites. So I've just been healing. Let me show you. Yeah, I have these just awful, itchy, not just on my ankles, it's climbed up my legs and further. I'm not gonna show you where it's gone and where the bugs got me, but it's just been horrible. The salt water I think has been good for it. I've been spending as much time as possible in the salt water, but very itchy. And also it kind of ruined my whole like cute little Hawaiian get up I was gonna do the tan and everything because I look like I have some kind of weird skin disease. It's typical vacation problems. Kauai is completely gorgeous. The mountains are incredible. The nature, all of the plant life, the animals, the chickens. There are chickens everywhere. Wild chickens roaming free all over the place. We've been waking up at the crack of dawn every morning with wild roosters crowing. <laughs> It's been really good to recharge and hang out as a family without any kind of work-related things to do. Of course, we found ways to still, you can't ever really get away from work, and I blame the iPhone for this. 
you're always pretty much available for people, even if you try not to be. So, but for the most part, I haven't been working very hard. I've been doing a lot of walking and eating and sunbathing and swimming. It's been great.